who says teenagers don't pay attention in school? A Freeman High School senior was so inspired by a movie about electric cars he saw in, 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 in his environmental science class, he decided to build his own car. KXLY 4's Tori Brunetti shows us the car that earned this kid an A and is setting an A-plus example for other kids. This 1991 Geo Metro needs a vice grip to hold up the hatch. If you walk to the front, you're going to see that it is two colors. And inside, there isn't even a radio. But don't let the outer appearance fool you. This car is state-of-the-art thanks to the brain power of a senior with Freeman High School. Dalton Fetch's car looks like what most teenagers drive, your average clunker. But take a closer look. Runs completely on electricity. This high school senior bought this 1991 Geo Metro with a blown out engine for $150 with the help of the internet. I just took what everybody has learned from their experiences and applied it to my project. A faithful investor. I have about $3,000 into this and my dad has about 3000 He built a speedy. I had it up to 85 yesterday environmentally friendly. It gets the equivalent of 167 miles per gallon. Thrifty. It costs 25 cents to charge it. Electric car. Yep, I built that. <laughs> Dalton spent a year building this car on and off, using supplies he bought at your local auto and hardware stores. The science behind what makes this car go is simple for Dalton. Compared to some of the computer stuff that my friends and I do, this is, this is not some of the hardest stuff we've had to I've had to tackle. It has a total of 15 batteries. Dalton charges it in his dad's garage. And depending on where you're driving, Dalton says it gets 30 to 50 miles per charge. This is an easy alternative to any kind of oil. Before you get too impressed with Dalton, he says he's just your average teenager. Anybody could do this if they really put their mind to it. Toya Brunetti, KXLY4 HD News.